First question is from Juan Toribio. Go ahead. Hey, Sheldon, how's it going? Good, um, how are you? Good, good, thank you. Um, because kind of, first of all, what was your reaction when you found that you were getting traded uh, to the Dodgers? You know, I was kind of sad to leave those guys over there. I made my debut with Oakland and left a lot of good friends, but extremely excited to come over and work with these guys. I've heard nothing but good things. And with the group that they have here, I hope that I can come in and fill a good role and help this club win another championship this year. Very excited to be here. What kind of clicked for you at the plate in, in 2019? It looked like your, your home run numbers kind of spiked up. I think I was just squaring the ball up more consistently, not trying to do too much, um, just keeping everything really simple. And kind of for, for us who, who don't know you, like where do you play kind of all over the field second? Where, where do you feel more comfortable playing defensively? Honestly, anywhere. Um, grew up playing shortstop, played third when I got into professional baseball, made my debut at second, and I've played first over the past couple of years here and there. So honestly, anywhere in the infield, I feel comfortable. Awesome. Thank you. Next question is from Mike DiGiovanna. Go ahead. Hey, Sheldon. Nice to meet you. Um, the trajectories of your career and Max Muncy's career are not exactly alike, but it's hard not to notice some similarities. Do you sort of look at him and maybe see, see some inspiration uh, uh, moving forward? Definitely. You know, a guy that when I got into Oakland was getting out and came over here and just excelled was incredible. Um, looking forward to getting to talk to him more and working with the guys here. And um, hopefully we can find something that clicks and allows me to excel the same way. How frustrating was it to have that season you had in 2019? And I'm assuming it was probably tough to carry that momentum uh, with such an uneven uh, 2020 and, and being at the alternate site and all that. Uh, it's just baseball. I mean, control what you can control. I just try to go out and play and, um, hopefully get a shot. Uh, you know, the club had a different decision and that's fine. It's just sometimes how baseball goes. But for me personally, I was just trying to get better. You know, it was a year we didn't get to play any games, but there was definitely room to grow. And I tried to do that. And were you able to get out of Texas before, uh, before that storm? I was I actually left in between both storms, kind of okay. had a grace period there and was able to drive through before the second one hit. All right. Thanks. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. Hey, Sheldon. When, uh, when the Dodgers acquired you, there was a, a comment or two that they thought there was some offense they could uh, upside, they could unlock with some things. Have they brought any uh, swing changes, anything like that to you yet? Nothing yet. It's early. I think I've been here a little over a week, maybe nine days, something like that. Um, I think we're just kind of getting a feel for everything right now. Um, camp's been going great, and I look forward to making some of those changes. I know we've talked some defensive stuff, and that's been very positive. Um, offensively, just little things here and there, but nothing drastic at all. How open are you if they come to you and say, you know, we think you should add this or take that away? As long as it's for the better, who wouldn't be open? Good answer. Thanks, Sheldon. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Sheldon, you mentioned defensively. What, what exactly defensively um, could you improve on? I think just moving my feet a little bit more, getting a little bit quicker. Um, you know, kind of been at third base the last few years. Uh, one of the things I took in the offseason was trying to cut some weight down to get more versatile and be able to move around and be a little lighter on my feet and quicker, and I did that. Um, talking to Dave the other day, I got some ground balls at first, just kind of moving around, just wanting to feel comfortable anywhere in the infield. Um, if there's anywhere I'd say where I'm probably lesser, it'd be first, but definitely not uncomfortable. I'm just trying to make it second nature along with the other positions. Uh, this might be a question you or anybody else might not be able to answer at this point, maybe for the end of the year. But how do you think not playing games regularly, like, you know, having a regular schedule last year will impact player development, maybe for yourself individually. How, how do you see that? That's a hard question to answer now. So early, um, I mean, if you did the right things, if we were still playing scrimmages and inner squads and things like that, or you can get better work in the cage, get out on the field, take some ground balls. I mean, there's definitely ways to still get better, whether you're playing in a game or not, um, maybe a little harder, but it's kind of hard to tell. You don't really know till the season gets on and gets going. And uh, just, 
you were traded with Trinan, right, to Oakland. Um, I, I'm just wondering how many guys did you, did you know, other guys did you know here in L.A.? Played against a couple guys. Uh, played with Trinan. Uh, other than that, played with Seager when I was younger. Other than that, I don't really know a whole lot of people here, but everybody here has been very open and welcome. It's been very nice. Uh, when did you when you when did you play with Seager? That was a junior Olympic team. We were 15, I believe. Cool. Thanks, man.